what's up today my fellow Madden soldiers so what we're going to be doing right now is I want to put a new cornerback on my squad and I'm going to tell you why I'm going to pick the individual I'm going to pick right now but before I do I want to give an important update because I know quite a few people, people quite a few people tune in to the no money spent team I do like that team there's a lot going on I got it to a 90 OVR I think it's 91 or I think defense is 91 whatever the case may be it's a 90 OVR I got it within a couple of months and I already started that team. I enjoyed it. But here's the thing, though. I'm going to let you guys know right now that I'm going to end the no money spent team. And the reason why, because I got a lot going on. So I'm going to go ahead and just end it. But just so you guys know, I'm ending it. But as soon as the new season starts, I will create a new one. And that one I plan to keep the rest of the season. I just wanted to start one postseason just to help those out who barely like basically if you buddy got the game i wanted to show you guys how to build a team that's what i do and i'll probably do it again even if i have the other no money spent team i'll probably do it again postseason because i know sometimes people get the game late and i'll show them again how to build a team that was the whole purpose of it i kind of messed up this year because i started um not this not this no money spent team but the last one i spent it i started a little bit late so this one, I'm going to go in with the intention of um, starting in the beginning of the season. As soon as I start my main squad, I'm going to start a no money spent team. And uh, I plan to grind out the rest of the season starting the next season, Madden 21. So keep that in mind. But I just want to let everyone know that I'm going to be um, ending the no money spent team. But there will be a lot more great videos coming. And also, I will be uh, still showing you guys how to creative ways like I do with my team. On how to build coins, on how to make coins, on how to, how to do every everything you can without having to spend money or just spend a little bit of money. Either way, I'm still going to show you guys that. So just continue to stay tuned. I got more for you. So without further ado, I want to get right into it. I want to let you guys know that I, I told you guys before I wanted to get corners. I finally was able to successfully get Mal Refno, uh, uh, Refno, if that's how you say it. I can't, can't even pronounce his name. But the whole thing is, is that I haven't got his full card yet because we're going to get a power up pass, a nice six power up pass with C series five. And it, I'm hoping it's come out this Friday. Everything's looking good like it is. But regardless of the fact, once I get the nice six power up pass, I'm going to use it for my Refno on uh, Refro. And then I'm going to use, you know, I'm going to use the coins that I have to help build up my offense and other and other players too that I, that I still need. So one of them is a cornerback. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get night train lane. And let me tell you, we're going to get night train lane. This Byron Jones um, glitchy too. So we'll put his power, power pass in first because we're going to power him up. I'm going to get night train lane because I wanted a corner. I realize a big factor in this game, at least to me, the what I see successful, at least on my team, is the hit power. The better the hit power, the more fumbles you create, and, it, and it's easier for the cornerback or any other player to tackle someone. And I really enjoy that hit power. Like I like it on my squad. I like speedsters and heavy hitters. Um, Night Train Lane, he's not too much of a speedster, but I could get him up to 95 speed. And to me, that's good enough because both of my other corners are going to be decent. Mal Refno, once I get him fully up, he's going to be 98 on my squad. And Deion Sanders already 99. So that's cool for me. So if I could have someone like Night Train Lane as a heavy hitter, as a corner, oh, I I'm all for it. And then Refno, mind you, he's a heavy hitter too. He's going to go up to 80 hit power. So I just want to let you guys know that too. So he's going to be decent, but this Night Train Lane is 91 hit power. So with me powering him up, he should go to 92. And I'm going to show you everything he gets. But once I discovered that, I, I should have known that for a while back because he's always been known as a hitter. I didn't know his hit power was that strong, though. So what I did was I went through all my corner. I was going through the cornerbacks um, in the auction house, and I was seeing... Not only who was fast, but well balanced, but also who had good hit power. He didn't have to have 91. If it was 80s and above, I would have got him. But when I seen Night Train Lane, I was like, wow, this guy got 80, I mean, 91 hit power. So, anyways, let's start off with Tier 1. So, he don't get nothing extravagant on Tier 1. I'm hoping he gets Enforcer. I don't know if I'm going to put it on him right now, but the thing is, he got the hit power. Because I have Enforcer on the players that I already needed him on. Look at, oh, not Slurker. What? I mean, it really don't matter anyway because I'm not going to put Enforcer on him, but I'm surprised that he actually don't get Enforcer. But it's irrelevant anyway. I'm going to tell you the reason why here is his uh, X-Factors. And the reason why is because he got 91 hit power. Who do I got more of? Do I got Rams? I don't know who I got. You know, I got, I got some Lions, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and put the Lions on him. 
Oh, I, wow. I actually got six. Oh, because Darius Slay got times, I think, two or three. I forgot what it is. Okay, so he didn't get that one plus strength. It's actually pretty good. So I'm going to put lockdown on him. I'm gonna send, I'll put times two. I don't, I don't need to put times three because that's only if I add other chemistries to my team, then I maximize as much as I can. So he gets times two sprinter. I'm not going to go that far right now because I don't need to. I'm going to go ahead and just put sprinter on him one time. So no X factors. I'm not going to put no X factors. I just got cause I just got him because I need another corner, like I said, because of the hit power. So I'm happy with that. He's a 96. I figured he, he would have went up to a 97, but he didn't. If it was a Cowboy, uh, would have because all my other Cowboy players usually go up like two OVRs. But I want to see how he looks, though. Okay, this is him with blue cams, okay? He's a 95 speed, 94 acceleration, 92 play rec, 93 plus, press, 96 zone, 91 man, 91 agility, 95 jumping. But I want to show you this hit power, though, because this is why I got him. This is why it's so important. Elusiveness is even, ooh, even spin move is 89. Wow, juke, 91. Also, he got some. Oh wow, this is a great card. And people, people been had him, so they they they've been knowing about him. So look at that hit power, ninety two hit power. That is insane. This card right here, most likely I'm gonna keep for the rest of the season. And I also know that he's gonna be getting the ultimate legend soon. So keep in mind, if he don't get another card before that, I know he's gonna be getting the ultimate legend soon. So I'm gonna get him right on time before it gets the ultimate legend because i know once that ultimate legend comes out this card is going to skyrocket remember because only only how you could get them from what i seen is completing the set and that set is too complicated to do i, I only i wouldn't even want to complete it i bought them out right from the auction block for like 200 two is like 220k so that's cheap right there i'm happy that i got him so what else was i gonna have Oh yeah, I want to show you how he looks stock. That's what I want to show you how he looks stock so you guys can see if you guys don't have all the blue chems. So this is Night Train uh, Lane on my right hand side. This is just his stock car without the blue chems. He's 92 speed, 92 acceleration, 90 play rec, 94 jumping, 93 agility, 89 man, 94 zone, and 91 press. And just mind you, the hit power is still 92 because it didn't raise, it didn't raise up from the window blue chems. I don't have no extra hit power with blue chems and it was just a straight 92 so that's going to be a straight 92 so just keep that in mind also so here's the thing i want you guys to i want you guys to uh be ready for because my i'm happy now that i got the corners i got my corners i'm gonna go ahead and put byron jones back in of course and keep darius Slay as my my fifth corner right here because he has that lion's kim but and eventually i want to get him his other card too so i'll probably end up doing that just to have him but anyways yeah my corners are cool i'm happy with them i'm gonna wait till i get the mal refno to his full version but he will be coming soon just know that he's gonna get his power pass for some odd reason if he never gets a pop there's no power pass which there will be i'm gonna buy the card out right like i don't care how much it's going for but because I we're gonna get a power pass and i don't plan on using the 96 for anyone else i'm gonna use it on him i'm also save the coins because the other 96s that I plan to get are going to cheap. They're only going for like 300k. So why should I spend 700k on Mal Refno when I could go ahead and get? Um, I could use a power pass on him and just buy the other cars that I need as 96s. So that's one thing that I want to pinpoint out to you guys too. Everything's looking good. The next person most likely that I'm gonna upgrade is my fullback. So stay tuned for that. And I also I'm look at just so you guys know. Um, I also I'm gonna upgrade this O-line. Just know that I'm gonna upgrade everything's gonna get upgraded little by little. I'm gonna do videos on it, I'm gonna show you the squad, and then we're gonna go out and do some gameplay. But just so you know, for those who, who also are uh, tuning in for the Dallas Cowboys theme team, major upgrades are gonna be coming soon. Stay tuned. I'm planning it out. I'm making sure because my whole goal is to make sure I keep 50 out of 50. So I'm coming up with a strategy and everything is working out. Um, pretty good. So just know that that's going to be coming soon too. Major upgrades to the Dallas Cowboy theme team. I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here. Um, if you guys like what you see, drop a like. If you guys need subs, sub to the channel. There will be more great, amazing content coming your way. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'm out.